welcome back to my channel. If you've seen my most recent video, you will know that I now use crutches. I'll leave that link down below if you haven't already seen it. Because I've had to start using crutches uh, because of my medication changes and Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome all kind of intertwining, I've had to start using a rucksack. So, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to film a What's In My Bag video. So I was very fortunate that my mother-in-law bought this bag for me. It's from TK Maxx. Um, it's just a rucksack. It's got gold hardware and when you open it up, it has got two main compartments, a zip compartment in the middle and then a zip at the back, as well as a poppered section for stuff in there. The things that sit on the top of my bag the most are my two different types of wrist support. This one has got a piece of metal in and this one hasn't. I keep them in my bag to try and protect my wrist because I'm now on crutches. Um, I'm playing around with which one is actually better for me and I'm also speaking to the hand therapist to see if there's something that I should be using that would be better for me but at the moment I'm trying to keep, I've got two of the pliable, what's it called? Neoprene types, um, but I just keep one in my bag as well as the one with metal. Next, I've got a small pencil case. I bought this from H&M with birthday gift vouchers. This has just got two pens, one blue, one black. Um, these are gel pens because I find they are easier to write with the fact that my finger does that. Um, a coloured pen that I only use to circle things to highlight them and a pencil but because of having them on my back it's not as easy to rummage through so I find that having them all kept together is a lot easier to find when I need them. Something that's normally in my bag but I've just realised it's actually in my bedroom still is my diary so that would normally be in here as well. Next I've got my purse, this is quite an old one, it was actually my sister's before it was mine. Um, I wanted something smaller than what I had. She had this and wasn't using it so she gave it to me. It's got some cards in there. Next I've got my sort of in case of emergency bag. This has got all sorts of random things in. I'm not going to pull it all out for you. It's got some tape to tape my fingers up if they start to bend the wrong way. It's got a mini Urban Decay Primer Potion, it's got some hair bands, um, a mirror, scissors, my radar key for the disabled toilets because in the UK we have a key system so you have to have one of those keys to be able to get in to most toilets. And then a vast number of these things which are oval eights and they stop, that's not the right size, they stop things from bending too far back. I thought I was choosing the perfect time to film and the sun has come out so now this side is really bright and this bit isn't and I can do nothing about it because we're in my parents conservatory and I can't change the ceiling so I'm really sorry about that. So then I've got my EpiPen because I have had anaphylactic reactions in the past and it's something that could happen at any moment. Uh, my inhaler because I am asthmatic and also this which I bought from Boots, it's just a container but I find it really useful to keep my tablets in and to separate out lunch and dinner and afternoon and I've got other ones that I can add in together because I find that the ones that you flip up just get opened in your bag, something will lean on it and it'll open, so they're no good. So these screw, which is really useful. I've then got antibacterial spray, which I was given at an event, and this is allergy friendly, which is great because it means it contains no alcohol, which Dan is allergic to, which is the main reason that I don't normally use antibacterial, because I'm he's allergic, very allergic to alcohol, so I don't want that to be near him, so that one's okay. And then a pack of tissues, I always try and keep at least one pack of tissues in my bag and a notebook just to jot down any ideas, make notes, take down telephone numbers, you name it, it's helpful. Then I have my keys, this is my front door key, um, both of the front door keys and this thing that it's attached to is actually to help you 
instead of having to push and bend on a key, you just twist. So you don't have to put the emphasis onto joints and bend them back. I picked one of these up when I first went to hand therapy at least three years ago and it's been really, really helpful. Um, I do need to get a new one though because it has actually broken. I don't know if you can see that light blue line there. That's super glue holding it together. And then I also have this pouch which contains my phone charger, which is always really handy. I worry that I'm gonna end up out and about, which I know isn't happening as much at the moment, but out and about with no uh, battery, nearly set signal, and something's gonna happen and I'm gonna need to find someone. So I always keep that on me. Lastly, I've got the lip products that I wore last night to Dan's parents, the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Obsession, the Rimmel Kate Moss Lipstick in 07, and the Urban Decay Lip Junkie Lip Gloss, which I am project panning at the moment. I normally also have my phone in my bag. I'm not sure whether I've left it at my house when I've come over to film or whether I've put it into my laptop bag, which has got loads of things that I'm about to photograph for my blog, um, but it, it's normally in my bag. Um, I've got an iPhone 5. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've got any video requests. Do subscribe to my channel and like this video if you have enjoyed and I will speak to you soon. Bye.